And we are live. Well, Max, morning, everyone. My name is Christian Jengra. I'm a Crown Diamond with Max International. And I really have the pleasure to actually falling on day 30 to share with you some of the mentoring that we've been receiving on the 90 day run. And I also want to take this opportunity to congratulate every single one of you who have been watching the video that we've been posting into this group. And especially those of you that's catched all the videos, maybe not all the time in real time, but you've actually been following through. And those of you that are doing so, if you only knew how your life will be impacted in the short term and the long term. And also what's really important is don't just measure the results that you are getting at the moment. I want to talk about that. And um, one thing that's extremely important here is to really get a, a, an understanding on uh, the importance of what we're doing here together. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking down just to make sure that we are live and I can actually follow the comments as they come in. So this is day 30. So it's been going on for 30 days. And I'd like to ask you two questions and feel free to post them as, as you're watching this video. Number one is, are you further ahead today than you were 30 days ago? You know, some of you are doing extremely well. I'm following your post. I'm following your results. Some of you are participating into the group. Congratulations for doing that. Um, and, but that is my question to you is, are you recognizing and are you moving ahead compared to 30 days ago? And I bet you some of you are doing absolutely amazing. Maybe some of you, it hasn't moved very much or very little. And I'm going to talk about that as we keep moving forward. Number two is, are you proud of the action and steps that you've been taking? Yes or no? Are you proud of it or not? And it's okay. You know, we're all human beings and we make decisions. There's a lot of distractions and I get it, right? I totally understand. And that's the reason why we have this environment. So let me start by um, talking about supporting your 90-day commitment. See, th this is not an easy thing. It is not an easy thing. See, at the beginning, we always have the crowd, but as the time moves forward, we're starting to lose a little bit here, lose a little bit there, and a little less interest here. And along the way, we start losing people. And that is normal. But how can you maintain a retention of having people coming back on a regular basis? Well, there's really seven steps that I want to talk about here. I'm just going to switch my screen very quickly so um, you, you can see what I'm talking about here. I'll come back to the other, you know, just so I can talk to you here. But just so you understand, this is what I'm focusing on. And this, um, this actual uh, uh, image has been posted into the group. So, uh, so do feel free to, to, uh, to refer to it for the, for, the, for the sake of our discussion. I want to talk to you right now. I don't want to be distracted and be in the little right corner. I want to be talking to you. One of the things that's very important in your 90 days in building your business, one is to make a decision. And many of you have done that. And one of the things that I really like about the way Eric has delivered his message yesterday in reference to this training that we're bringing to before you here today is he's going through a 90-day transformation when it comes to his health trainings nutrition and so forth and he uses the challenges and the adversity and objections and situation he's coming across through his 90-day program which for him is a big challenge for many of us it is too in fact i mean i are going through the same transformation physically but the point here is that he shared that information in line to the, the challenges that he's facing going through the 90-day program. But the real purpose is to an an analyze how you are coping with the challenge that you may be facing in your 90-day run. So we've right now just kind of completed the first third of this 90-day run. So we did the first, the first 30 days of the three 30 days, for, which is 90 days. You understand my meaning. So number one is you make a decision. And this is very important. Make a decision. Don't be on the fence 
and um, and kind of always be distracted and like a giraffe, like always looking around, see what else is available, what else can I focus on? This is one of the main reasons why most people do not succeed in this kind of business is they do not focus. So I'll come back to that in the point, but at the beginning, when you start this kind of business, which is very, very important, okay, from Puerto Rico, I think it's probably loose. Thank you for joining in. Thank you. So from here, what's important is, it's, my suggestion is turn your brain off. Turn it off just for a minute. Because often what's going to happen is information may be passed on to you and your mind's going to start shifting and manipulating and kind of doing things that may get you out of the game. Turn the brain off just for a small period of time so you can get into the groove and into the wave of learning from some people who've been very successful like this. Number two is, in, 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 the, in the point of making a decision, is follow instructions. I don't know if you realize what we're doing here with this group, but we're documenting the investment that we've made in learning everything that Eric is sharing. And not just Eric, but the whole team around him. I want to talk about that next, is the team support. But follow the instructions. Don't twist things and change things and manipulate things in a way that you may feel be better suit you because maybe that's the reason why you're not getting the results you're looking for. You keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and over. So one, you made a decision, turn your brain off for a period of time, follow instruction and control your limiting beliefs. You know, there's been a really good training that was, that was uh, shared a few, few days ago in reference to your beliefs and your limiting beliefs. Your, lim your limiting beliefs will keep you out of the game or take you out of the game until you will actually exercise those limiting beliefs to pass what you may think you're capable of or able to do. And number four in the making the decision aspect is dealing with your emotions. Folks, it is very easy to be depressed and to fall into that depression mode. Depress depression often falls into a point where it's like there is no way out. And when you feel that way, often people tend to drown, to drown themselves and dwell into this negativity. And unfortunately, that will also get you out of the game. That's why these calls and these sessions are so important because it keeps you in the game. And as I progress with this training, as I keep moving forward, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, so one is make, you made a decision and follow some of the points that I shared with you in line in making your decision once you've made a decision to start. Number two is put a team to support you. What do I mean by that? For example, you know, up to 2020, Tammy and I, our way of doing business is we were in a plane every two months and we were traveling the world, meeting our teams. Our teams are a family. It was like visiting our family every year and we were rotating all the way up to November 2019. That's when we came back from our last trip. I think it was Nigeria, the last trip that we did. And from that point on, we had to redefine ourselves because we're not there physically anymore to stimulate, educate, inspire, and, and kind of connect with you. So what can we do? Well, that's the point is we needed to create a team environment. So I had a conversation with Ann Turnbull and WhatsApp, uh, you know, Wattmaster, Wattmaster and uh, Dr. Izzy and, and many, uh, you know, obviously my wife and many of the leaders that you're hearing, that you're seeing here. And we need to create a group to support our efforts. Because for example, as you're starting to introduce someone into the business, would not be nice where you can plug them into an environment. It's kind of hands off, a matter of speaking. You don't just never speak with them. They're plugged in into an environment of support. That's what, that's what he means by putting a team together. See, Eric, when he talked about a team, is that he had to pick his trainers, he talked to his doctors, he talked to his nutritionists, he has interior. Uh, uh, Interior motivation, exterior motivation, exterior team, and interior team. And the interior team was basically his wife, Marina. What, are we, what, what did he mean? What did he talk about? 
Well, this is what we're talking. This is what I'm talking about about the Crown Diamond Global Impact. And also, there is a Facebook Messenger group. There's WhatsApp group. There's um, there's there's you understand what I'm. There's so many groups that you can plug into. And what happens is these groups. There's always someone that may have an answer even before you have even an answer, an opportunity to 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 answer. And if your team member, your brand new team member, is in there and he has some questions. He's nervous. Uh, uh, things are happening, and what happens is he suddenly uh, starts posting a question. And while you're sleeping or busy or doing something else, there's ten people that can answer that question. You understand what I mean? That's team support. That is the kind of environment you need to thrive in network marketing. You know, there's some people that tends to work completely secluded, all all by themselves. And they keep the little team together and they don't exploit. They don't go outside of that little environment. And fortunately, that's a big problem. And it could be the reason why you're not growing or you've hit a plateau. Because you've created an environment of a, like a fence, a virtual fence around your team. And it's like they're not allowed to look at anything else. Is there a downside when everything is open? Of course. Everything's exposed. They see everything. They see leaders from different companies. Yes, but here's my philosophy. They want to leave, leave. But here's the thing. People don't want to leave an environment that they feel home and comfortable in. You understand? I am not worried ever about this. In my entire life, I've always created an environment where the team can connect and collaborate together. And it's probably one of the reasons why we have a team that is worldwide and every single country that we support, the team has evolved. Is there some challenges? Absolutely, there's challenges. The economy is not easy. There's a lot of things going on. But that communication, that collaboration is creating the support, that bridge to keep communication and keep flow going. So that's what it means. Number two is create a team support to support your effort, to keep you accountable, to help you kind of stay the course when you feel down. That's number two. So one, we talked about make a decision. Number two, we're talking about creating a team support. Number three, you need to focus. I mean, focus. This is probably one of the biggest challenges I have recognized in all my career and all my years is it's like often, especially when someone is brand new, it's like a newborn. You know, a newborn, um, what happens is they don't know what's going on right? They're disoriented. And then what do we do to entertain them when they're about to cry? Well, we take that little toy, we ding, like, giddy, 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 giddy. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Just to create a little bit of fun and just create a bit of entertainment to get your newborn to distract themselves from what maybe might be bothering them, like maybe the cost of getting involved or the fact that uh, nobody seems to be interested in I can't seem to have anybody wanted to look at what I have to offer. So what's happening, they start crying, maybe not physically, you know what I mean, right? They get into this depression mode that I just can't change anything. So what happens here is very important. It goes back to the team support. It helps you to stay focused. Now, as you stay focused, what's, what's important here is you will find that over time, you're going to start making decisions that are in line with your goals. Now, what's going to happen is every time that you have a small breakthrough, for example, you sign up your very first customer, but prior to that, it was just a lot of no's, a lot of negativity, but you stayed the course and eventually you create a foundation and you've got your first customer. So that here is a step. That's a, it's like a breakthrough. It's not like it is a breakthrough. So that's kind of that's number number three is when you keep staying the course and you keep doing the activities sooner or later, sooner or later, even through the numbers, you will come across someone that will see beyond maybe what you might have shared. The thing is, is you want to stay the course. And you've heard me say this often and often, very often is never lose sight of your goals and stay the course. And I assure that those of you who do, when we go through some of the challenges that we're going through right now with inflation and everything else, watch out because we know what we have in our hands. So over time, 
you'll start making good decisions and tiny little decisions that we eventually will actually bring you some results. And those micro little decisions would lead you to better results. And it's not going to happen right away. Because listen, it's like Eric was talking about, you know, when you train, right? Especially if you've never trained for a decade, right? And suddenly you start training and your body's hurting and you're getting depressed a little bit. Um, things are not changing. Uh, your weight is not changing, right? So you was using this analogy. Well, let's think about it in our business. You've been in a business for three days. You've talked to 10 people, maybe 15 people, maybe more, maybe 100 people. And out of that, maybe two or three show some interest. So you feel you're doing all this work, but you're not getting the results. But the fact is you are. Because what you're doing is you're planting seeds. And these seeds, over time, could grow. When I say could, because we, I can't predict what someone may or may not do based on what you share with them and how you went about sharing information. But if you keep sharing, you are planting seeds. And if you stay focused and planting seeds, sooner or later, someone will caught on. And eventually, this is how the foundation starts being, it's starting to grow. So number three is you need to stay focused. Number four is manage your emotions. Manage your emotions. You know, there was a training that I did about tricking your mind. Focus on what matters to you, not what is, what matters to you. And when your mind, that person that keeps talking negativity, that keeps reminding you of what you're not and what you don't have and what's missing, if you're in a position to focus on something else that matters to you, that you really want, every time that happens, what you're doing is you're creating an environment in your mind to quiet that side. At first, it won't be easy because he's loud. But if you stay the course and focusing on what matters to you, that's why we talked about setting goals and your dream boards. And I know Tammy and, and, and Dr. Izzy and Webmaster and Anne, one of us have talked about those. Why? It's because we want to help you create an environment for you to focus on when the negativity starts taking over. That little negative voice, we all have it. The difference between the successful people and the ones that are not is the practice that they had in eliminating listening to this voice and focusing to the other voice. So control your emotions. The emotions is part of the process is whatever one you feed the most will dominate you. That, I cannot stress this enough. We all have these negative emotions. Trust me, I get them too. But when I get them, right away, I shift on what matters. It works. It really, really, really does work. So number, number four, manage your emotions. Don't let them get the best of you. I'm telling you, there is no space in your mind for that. But you need to choose which one you want to feed the most. The other one is um, discipline your disappointments, which is not with the emotion, but discipline your disappointments. See, someone decided that, you know what? It's not my kind of thing. I don't believe in this stuff. I don't believe in supplements. I'm just being negative here to kind of share with you the reality of what you might be facing. Just understand that that is their opinion. You know, you know we've been doing business in 18 countries for the past almost 15 years now. Many of you have seen people transformed their lives with these supplements financially. But somehow, instead of focusing there, they're going to focus on the one instance that didn't work. It tend tends to be a human trait. It's kind of the way we're brought up, right? Negativity sells. Positive, oh yeah, okay. My point here is choose your battles and discipline your disappointments. When things don't go the way you were planning to go for you, just understand that it's a process. It's a numbers game. Not everybody is interested in eating the same type of food. That's the reason why there's such a variety of food, if you understand my meaning. Choose. People can choose. 
because they don't see what you present, it doesn't mean it's no good. That's their opinion. So if let's say someone is, is about to start the business and they turn around and they turn the other way, understand that it's not a no for now. I mean, it's not a no forever. It's a no for now. If I could rephrase that. And the fact is that if you stay connected and following up, follow our trainings on following up, third-party credibility, you know, bringing someone else that maybe had some great results to complement something you've just presented to help you, right? So the fact here is discipline your disappointment. Don't let them take over because the prize is so amazing with this industry. Max International is so generous with their compensation plan, with their, 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 their technology, with their products, with their, their trips incentives. Focus on those things. And many of you have traveled around the world with Max International. And maybe your state of mind might be a little bit depressed right now. Well, where do you, what you, where do you choose to focus your thoughts? That will be the, no, the dominating factor of how you will feel about the disappointments. Discipline them. That's my point. Okay, so that's number five. Number six is challenge the old limiting belief. I remember when I started I, I never forgot, and I still remember as it was yesterday. For me to make $1,000 US in network marketing was a miracle. It was like the be all. This is what I really would absolutely love. It's, it's really interesting today how much does it has evolved. I, I'm not here to kind of overwhelm you with what, how much we make. That's not the point. The point is once upon a time, I have very limited belief that I can earn in this kind of business. And maybe you are dealing with that too. You have very limited belief in the possibility to make a living with this kind of business. And what I'm telling you is challenge those limited beliefs and start by setting goals that will pass those limiting beliefs. Even if you don't believe it's possible, Put them down on paper somewhere and focus your thoughts and your energy towards that new belief. The mind is extremely powerful. Do not underestimate your mind. You are unique in this world and you are extremely important in this world. Don't believe that you are not based on society and the environment. That's the lie. You were created because you were meant to be here. You were not meant to be here to struggle. That's a choice. I know it sounds a little difficult for some to believe that. But the fact is, as you grow and you evolve, this information is free. You didn't pay to learn this stuff. You choose to be here. The moment you choose to accept these philosophies, it will change the neural pathways in your mind and the way you think and the way you process, even if everything seems impossible. Mark my words. I did it. You can. So challenge your limiting belief every day and go beyond them. And then when you pass them, and you will, you need to create new belief based on those new limiting challenges that you were facing. Right? And here's number seven that's very important. Establish your daily routine, your daily method, your DMO, daily method of operation. See, as you're going through the activities in building your business, right, you need to recognize the pattern, the repetitive pattern of the things that you're doing, especially if they brought you results. These are the things you have to keep doing. You don't stop doing them. So one thing that Eric talks about, and we did one of the training on that, on plan, do, review. And this is really the, the challenge that I want to share with you here today. If I can bring the slide again. Okay. So we went through the seven, the seven elements or seven steps on supporting your 90-day commitment. And remember, we have 30 minutes to talk here, so there's not that much I can share. But what I'm giving you is just some, 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 some seeds for you to start processing your thoughts in line to achieving your goals. Now, the challenge is you need to map out 
what you have done so far. Some of you have done great things. And the thing that's very important in building a system, building a team, building a business, creating an environment of, 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 uh, a th- that, 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 that will thrive for you financially, this is what you're looking for, for it is your health. You need to plan, first of all, and the different steps that I'm giving you here, okay, these are uh, the plan itself, okay? Let me just move this around here, okay? So this is the plan. Now, once you're executing the plan, you may find that you may have to tweak certain things, adjust certain things, increase the frequency, or maybe decrease. And from there, you need to review, is it working or is it not working? So for you to evaluate that plan, you can see here on the bottom, it says, where did you start? Okay, where did you start? So that's one of the things that... um, you know, you should recognize where did you start when you started this this 30 day, this 90 day program, talk about the first 30 days, how were you then and where are you now? So that's the next step is where are you now? Are you moving forward? And be fair, are you doing the activities that will get you to move forward and just say, no, nothing's changed. Well, did you do the work? First of all, okay. So where did you start and where are you now? And What changes has happened in your mind? Because maybe you didn't get the results financially. Just like someone who's starting to train for the first 30 days and the body doesn't show an inch of of, of difference. But internally, your mind has changed. You're getting into the habit of showing up for training. You're getting into the habit of showing up and doing the prospecting activity. You're getting into the habit of doing the the, the daily method of operation to get someone interested to a point where someone may, be, may want to become a customer or an associate, right? So the thing is, what has changed in your mind? Don't just focus on the results because the results may take time. It's like when you plant seed in the, on the ground and you come in three days later, you come in a week later, you come in two weeks later and there's no nothing and suddenly a month and a half later, there's a tiny little plant that's barely an inch off the ground that's starting to come out. It didn't happen the first day or the first week or the second week. It happened within maybe the first month. It needed to work the foundation. That's what happens when you start this business. But people want results yesterday with no work. And, and I know that doesn't make sense, but that's how often how we think about this business. So, Recognize the change that happened in your mind. The other thing is, what lesson have you learned? You know, I have seen people transforming into this kind of, maybe they haven't made a lot of money. They're making like $700. It's been a long time they've been in this business and they haven't really passed $1,000 to $1,500. But their personal growth, the person that they are today is night and day. Night and day. And if this continues, I assure you, that eventually it will reflect in your results. That I guarantee you. So you need to recognize the changes in the elements that has transformed over time that you may not give credit to that is necessary because this is are the steps that are getting you on your way to get to what you really want. Another one is what obstacles that you need to overcome? What obstacles did you need to overcome? Un- understanding some of the challenge that you've been facing. Maybe you learn, you need to learn to, um, you know, like I had, improve my English, right? I come from a French background. So often the word that I want to say is not coming out because I'm thinking it in French or I'm not even sure what it is in French. I don't know what it is in English. I just know, right? So some, see, maybe that you need to, to, to improve in your communication skills. Maybe you need to improve on understanding the compensation plan. Maybe you don't get it. Maybe you don't really understand. You focus on one aspect of the plan, but you're completely leaving out their big picture because you don't understand it. So maybe you need to learn that. Spend more time. Watch some videos on how this works. So what are the obstacles that you need to overcome to get to the point that you want to get into? You understand? So the other point is... um, what work, and let me ask you, is what are the things that you should have done that you didn't do? 
Recognize that. What are things that you should have done or you should be doing that you're not doing? You keep procrastinating, which is the reason why you're not getting the results. It's very easy to blame. But at the end of the day, always remember, right? When you point, three finger points right back at you, remember that. Just look at your activities and the things that you've been applying in this past 30 days. What can you do better in line to you know, what you need to overcome? What can you do better? What can you do more of? Do you prospect enough? Or all your dreams and goals were based on one prospect that you thought was the holy grail of building your organization. And oh, they didn't say yes. Now the whole world crashed and burned. Often this is how people think and that's how people build their businesses and they think it's not working for them. That's not the case. They just don't speak to enough people. And some people have in so much talent in their pinky finger that most people have in their, don't have in their entire body. But that mindset prevents them from going forward. So the challenge today here in the group, for those of you that are willing to take this challenge, is do a plan, do a review. And kind of share what you have accomplished or where you need to, what you need to work on whatever you feel is appropriate for you to share so we can, um, you know, watch your progress and maybe even comment and maybe help you in the process. I'd love to certainly, I would love to comment on that. So in the comment section or just post it into this group, this is an open public group. Everybody can share and I would love to hear from you. So I hope this session was helpful. I look forward to tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is going to be, I believe it is day 31. Um, and, uh, Eric has some good insights. I haven't listened to it yet. I will listen to it a little later. And, uh, I know I'm looking forward to the training tomorrow. So I hope you'll come back. And again, folks, here's what's really important. Take an active role. Don't just be a tourist by watching and sitting on the sideline and hiding. Show up, comment, share your thoughts because your voice matters. So everybody have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. It was a pleasure to share with you. And I hope that information was helpful. Bye for now.